Um, the next example, ladies and gentlemen, is if you guys remember, I gave you guys this rule for product. The same rule or thinking applies when you have the nth root of a variable x or nth root of variable y. You could take the nth root of x over y. So as long as my indexes are the same, I can simply just divide these under the same radical. So therefore, I could rewrite this as the cube root of 18y squared over 12y. Now this is important because can I reduce 18 over 12? I can reduce that to 6 goes into both of them, which would be 3 halves. So, and then y squared divided by y is? You guys agree with me? Yes? OK. Now, technically, we like to, um, technically, we do not like to have a denominator in our radical um, when we're dealing with the radical. So, we like, another way we can do is simplify this by using rationalizing the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this apart again. The cube root of 3y over the cube root of 2. And here's kind of coming. You're just going to have to read the directions. A lot of times there's nothing really wrong with this, but a lot of times they say it's not simplified unless the denominator is what we call rationalized, meaning you cannot represent the rat a radical in the denominator. So what you do in this case is if we're looking at this, we will need to get rid of the cube root of 2. Now, to simplify this, I can only take the cube root of 2 raised to what power? Well, what, is this, what power does this 2 need to be so I can take the cube root of it? 3, right? What power is my 2 being raised to right now? It's 1. I need this 2 to be raised to, a third, to the third power, right? 2 is being raised to the first power. I can't take the cube root of 2 to the first power. I can only take the cube root of 2 to the third power. So what do I need to multiply 2 to the first by to get it to be 2 cubed? 2 to the second power. However, is there any rule up here that says you can take a number outside of a radical and multiply it to a number inside of a radical? No, there's nothing I wrote up there that says that. Guess what? You cannot do that. However, there is a rule that says if your indexes are the same, Whatever's inside your radical, your radicands, you can multiply. So therefore, if I want to multiply this times this, I need to make sure these are the same radicals. So therefore, I need to multiply this by the cube root of 2 squared. And whatever you do in the denominator, you have to do in the or numerator. So now, by doing that, I get the cube root. Really, 2 squared is 4, correct? So 4 times 3 is 12y over, this becomes the cube root of 2 cubed. Well, as we've mentioned, the cube root of 2 cubed is just going to be 2. Um, the cube root of 12, I can't simplify that any further. So my final simplified answer is 12y over 2.